Hi, I'm Ian Call, the Technical Director of the Indoor Air Quality Association, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on radon. What is radon? It's a colorless and odorless gas that's a known cancer-causing substance. Radon is naturally occurring and found in the ground at varying concentrations worldwide. What factors influence the amount of radon that enters a building? Let's look at four key factors. The first factor is the amount of radon in the soil which varies across the globe. There are radon maps which help you visualize the varying degree of radon in the soil. A word of caution, even a building in a traditionally low radon area can have a problem. You won't know until you test. Having radon in the soil isn't the only factor. There must be pathways in the soil that allow the radon to move toward the building. The radon first travels through fractures, fissures, and faults in the Earth's crust, and then through pores in the top layers of soil. The soil's moisture content, porosity, and permeability all will affect the transport of radon indoors. We can't really change these first two factors, but there are other factors over which we have more control. The third factor is the presence of entryways through the building's enclosure. There could be a high concentration of radon in the soil under a building, but it may never cause a problem if the foundation was well sealed. Any penetration through a below grade wall or floor is a potential entryway. You may think your building's airtight, but there are almost always entryways. The final factor is the building's pressurization. Even if the first three factors are present, there probably won't be a significant radon problem unless there's a force sucking soil gases in. Some radon will naturally diffuse through openings due to fixed law, but it's pressure relationships that are the real culprit. Buildings under a negative pressure will have more problems with radon. Positive pressure can be established with a well-designed ventilation system. If you have a problem with radon, and need some professional advice, visit iaqa.org and click the Find a Pro button on the homepage.